Your purse? Say cheese. Yeah. Up. some tomato basil hummus and some heirloom tomatoes those are two dollars a pound huh are you gonna help me oh, maybe let's not open that and what are these they're grapes. Yeah. So then these were two bags for five dollars because they were like the ugly fruit. And we got some plums. Plums? Mm, hi. Hi. I just wanted to include the footage um, from the farmer's market before I talked about these supplements um, just because I feel that a balanced diet should come before supplementation. You shouldn't rely on supplements to keep you healthy or increase your athletic ability or your muscle growth or anything like that. Um, you should just focus on balanced clean diet and exercise. But that being said, this is a disclaimer, I am not a doctor or I'm qualified to prescribe these supplements.
supplements. To anyone, anything I say should not be taken as medical advice. Ask your doctor or more likely a naturopath before taking any supplement. This is just what I take. Oh yeah, don't sue me. <laughs> but the first thing that I want to talk about is collagen. This one right here is huge. There's 390 tablets in it from U Theory. This one is not vegetarian. I'm not sure when I would have brought this up, but I don't eat meat. I do eat fish occasionally, and I stay away from dairy. Occasionally eat eggs. Um, I'm not vegetarian. I'm not gonna give myself a label because then I get bashed in the comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is from cows and chicken. There are plant-based um, collagen supplements out there, and I will be getting one after I finish this because I'm not gonna be wasteful. <laughs> Collagen is just supposed to support your your joints. I think your skin, yeah. So it's collagen, like in your skin. And I hurt my knee playing soccer in high school. That was about six years ago, and I've had minor pain, minor but annoying pain. Um, since then, since I've been taking collagen, the pain has pretty much disappeared. Even when I'm lifting, no pain, and it's awesome. Like it's awesome. Because if you live with like any type of chronic pain, then you know that it sucks. The next one is I a multivitamin. And I do take a half of a multivitamin um, just to cover my bases. This one is from Target. That helps support bone health, heart health, immune health, um, energy and metabolism, healthy skin, and healthy reproductive system. Um, it has vitamin A, C, D, E, K, vitamin riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin B12, biotin, um, pantothenic acid, calcium, iron, iodine, zinc, selenium, copper, manganese, uh, and chromium. Um, I'm not sure if this one is vegan, if the vitamin D, I'm not sure what they use for that, um, because most vitamin D supplements are not vegetarian, they're from sheep's wool, and I learned that from Sarah Lemkiss's video on her supplements, which is a great video and I suggest that you watch it um, if you're into this kind of thing. Um, but that being said, I do take another vitamin D supplement. Um, this one is just a thousand IU and that's about 250% of your um, daily recommendation. I was deficient in vitamin D. Um, I got blood work done by my doctor, so I, I officially knew that. Um, I was taking a higher dose than this, um, but since then I've decreased my dose and I kind of go outside a little bit more. Um, so. I do get a little bit more sun, even though you shouldn't rely on the sun to get your vitamin D because the sun is dangerous. <laughs> uh, and then, so the next one is, I was thinking, taking ginkgo biloba and it's supposed to help with brain function, focus, and it's supposed to improve your memory. Um, I have not noticed a significant difference. I did finish the whole bottle. Yeah, like I said, I didn't notice a significant difference, but now at this point I'm kind of scared. If I stop taking it, then I'm not, I, like, what if I like lose my memory or something like that? Um, but now I'm taking this Think Smart from Whole Foods. It has ginkgo biloba, B vitamins, amino acids, Asian ginseng, go to cola, and choline. Um, the main ingredient in here is vitamin B12, like 4,000%. This one is not vegetarian either. Um, it does have gelatin in it, so I will be finding something else that is vegetarian after I finish this. Um, the next one is a probiotic, and these are probably my, my number one, mm, not my number one anymore, but they were my number one supplement. This one's from Trader Joe's. Um, it just improves your overall gut health and keeps you regular. It's possible that it helps with skin, but I haven't noticed that kind of a difference. I recommend getting anything that is over a billion organisms. Um, um, and it have multiple strains of bacteria. This one is 10 billion organisms, which is good. Um, I recommend keeping your probiotics in the fridge or, but you should find a probiotic that already comes in the fridge. Like it, I know if you go to a certain um, vitamin shops that some are in the fridge, those are supposed to be better for you, but they're really expensive. They're about $40 um, for those probiotics. But this one just from Trader Joe's, I think this was about $18. And I think it does a trick. I used to have a lot of gastrointestinal issues uh, when I was growing up and I'm not gonna go into that, but this is what pretty much saved me. The next one is biotin. This is also from Trader Joe's. Um, it's 5,000 MCG. And my hair is pretty long. 
<laughs> um, it was longer, but I have noticed a significant difference in my hair growth and my nail growth. I always have to get fills every two weeks, otherwise my nails look awful because they grow so fast. It's supposed to help with your skin as well, but I really haven't noticed that much of a difference. Oh, and something that I didn't mention about the vitamin D, this can also help your mood. And somebody that has dealt with anxiety and depression for a good amount of my life, um, anything that suggests that, I'm going to try. <laughs> Um, and I feel like it's working. I feel like it has worked so far. Um, and it can also help with like seasonal depression if you get that like during the winter time. Um, and then the next one is something that is um, probably the newest one in my supplements is L-carnitine. It's known as a fat burner and it increases your energy from burning that fat. It uses the fat as a energy source. I'm not sure how much I believe this, but it can't hurt, right? I mean, some supplements can't hurt you. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, L-carnitine is an amino acid which which are the building blocks of protein, which is very important for muscle growth, especially if you're working out. The next one is creatine. This one is from BPI Sports. Um, a lot of people say that this can uh, cause bloating. I have not really noticed that. I'm just not paying attention, but this is supposed to increase your strength, your muscle growth. It's supposed to optimize recovery and improve your athletic performance. I have noticed that when I go to the gym after taking this, um, stuff doesn't feel heavy, I'm not really fatigued, which can happen sometimes and it is frustrating when you go to the gym um, and you set aside that time to work out but you just feel like everything is like so heavy and you just can't do it. Try this if you have that problem. And like I said before in my last video, I don't take any pre-workout, all I drink is coffee. I am looking for a pre-workout that is a non-stimulant. Um, coffee kind of usually does the trick for me but um, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I also do supplement the protein but that's pretty basic. You need it for muscle growth, you need it. Uh, I don't have one at the moment because I just finished the last one that I was using. But I think I'm gonna go with pea protein this time. I was using soy, which is typically not good for women. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with pea protein just because I am not supposed to have milk because I'm lactose intolerant. So I don't um, take whey protein or anything like that. But I know Women's Best has um, just released some vegan protein, so it's probably the one that I'm gonna try. And also with this one, I kind of want to stay away from the artificial colors and flavors um, from the, for the rest of my life. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say there. But pretty much I just want to get away from the artificial stuff. Um, so I'm going to be finding a different one. Um, I think I said this earlier, but Sarah Lumpkiss made a supplement video that is vegan. It's a great video. So if you're interested in that, uh, like supplementation or vegan or both, um, I suggest watching her video. I'll link it somewhere in the video or somewhere below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It may seem like a lot, but that's just kind of how it's built up. Started with the probiotics, and then I added the multivitamin and the vitamin D, and it just kind of happened over time. It wasn't like I just bought all of these and started taking all of them. Please DM me on Instagram, leave a comment, um, something I don't have a Twitter. I mean, I do, but I don't use it. Yeah, and please, again, take this with a grain of salt. I'm not a professional. I can't tell you what to do, so be careful and talk to your doctor about what you want to do with your body. But that's it. 